Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Brother James Benedict. Well, very good morning. I greet you in the most wonderful and joyful name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Shall we read from the book of Habakkuk chapter 3 verses 17 and 18. Habakkuk 3 17 and 18. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no fruit, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls yet i will rejoice in the lord i will joy in the god of my salvation amen how wonderful it is well i remember uh, reading a story about a woman who was very discouraged because of uh, the many problems in her life as she was walking down the street she met a fellow believer who asked how are you doing With a soul look and a bitter shrug she replied ho oh, not too bad under the circumstances the other person quickly countered well get above the circumstances that's where jesus is well the prophet habakkuk was of the same mind he refused to let circumstances dampen his faith or crush his hope he looked to the future not with pessimistic fears of what else could go wrong but with faith in god no matter what would happen even if he lost all his possessions even if he, if he became sick habakkuk proclaimed that he would continue to trust in the lord to meet all his needs our eyes to be focused on the lord and not on our circumstances not on our sickness we are to live above the shadows of fear and bask in the sunlight of faith even though we like habakkuk may have a long list of troubles and sicknesses and all diseases and ailments faith answer to disappointment must always be yet i will rejoice in the lord the word of god says in philippians rejoice evermore and again i say rejoice i will joy yet i will rejoice in the lord i will joy in the god of my salvation well may the lord give us such type of attitude to enable us to live above the circumstances instead instead of under them although my trees are fruitless no grapes are on the vine yet christ is all my fullness and all his sweetness is mine as we go along life's very road let jesus lift our heavy load let's pray gracious lord we thank you for this wonderful lord word that you have given to us oh father in this world we have trials the word of god says yes lord many are the afflictions of the righteous but we thank you lord in spite of that lord we would like to rejoice because thy word says there is power in you rejoicing oh father we know that and so we thank you and praise you lord even if you have Lord, at this time, Lord, anybody, Lord, who's listening to this word, they have trials, Lord, unspoken, Lord, problems. We pray that the Lord, they will commit, Lord, their situation into your hands, and they will rejoice, so that, Lord, there will be great, Lord, breakthrough coming in their lives, because there is power in praising and thanking you. Help us to do that, Lord. Thank you and praise you in Jesus' marvelous name. We pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you.